Good morning. It is the last day before Thanksgiving break. Our district had school on Monday and Tuesday, so we'll have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off for Thanksgiving. And today's Tuesday. It's the last day. It's also pajama day. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. On Friday when I checked the jar for pajama day, we weren't close and I threw in a whole extra handful of marbles to make it happen because I needed pajama day today. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to my pencil sharpening crew. Look at this, so many beautiful sharp pencils. Also, I can't tell you what a difference it made to get a brand new pencil sharpener. Thrilled about that. So as I mentioned, it is the last day before Thanksgiving break, which means we're not really doing a whole lot of real school this week um, because it was, two days you know what are you gonna do so i like to teach a mini unit on thanksgiving so that's what we're doing this week so i'm gonna go ahead and put up our schedule for today so that we can have that up and ready to go i'm just looking over it we got invited to go watch some plays this afternoon so i'm adjusting my afternoon plans we'll figure it out okay because i know you're dying to know and this is really helpful now after the fact i'm gonna show you what we're doing for thanksgiving Okay, so Scholastic has a lesson. Actually, let me see if I have it pulled up here still. Yeah, look. Scholastic has a lesson called The First Thanksgiving where they have all these tabs that you can go through. So I created a packet that goes along with this that we work through together. So um, this is the packet. We talk about the journey on the Mayflower, why the pilgrims left, and then we do like a little activity as we talk about how it worked out for them. Copies didn't turn out great, so you can't even see the land, but that's okay. Then we do a little t-chart comparing their daily lives. This is the part we're doing today where we'll take one minute, write down everything they do for Thanksgiving today, all the food they eat, all the activities. We'll talk about Thanksgiving then, write down a list of all the things they did, and then we'll take a highlighter and highlight the things that are the same so you can see how Thanksgiving still is a little bit the same. And then this is a freebie from School in the City. We'll just read through this as kind of like a review of everything we've been talking about to practice text features. And then I put in a fun color by number if we have time. So that's what we're doing for the social studies aspect of it. Then for writing, we make these little books. Got this tree as a freebie on TPT and then made everything else that's in here. And so we fill that out. And then, whoa. Okay, so when you open it up, we'll fill out this section today, but we'll write down some facts about Thanksgiving. I had them all write a recipe. In fact, I need to look through the recipes because some of them are hysterical. And then there's a poem, and then we disguise a turkey. So that's what we do for the writing section of our week, these two days. And then for math, I have just some games that we play. So this one, you cover the shapes with pattern blocks. Um, this one, you spin and add and try and get up to 100. It's got like little 10 frames to practice on. And then I also have this other freebie, which is called Thanksgiving Bump, which is, yeah, roll two dice and then take the number from 15, cover it up, bump each other around. It's good stuff. And then we'll also read the book, which my roommate insists is the best book ever. And so we got a plump and perky turkey. And then today, immediately after school, like as soon as the bell rings, I'm going to take down all my fall decorations and decorate for Christmas. That's really why we're picking up the camera today is because I want to show you Christmas decorating in my classroom. And I'm excited about it. It's simple. It sounds like it's going to be extravagant. It's not, but I'm just excited. We are still doing our regular guided reading rotation. So for the writing section, we're doing a Thanksgiving prompt. And I wanted to show you these because they're so cute. <music> The wall and the scientist are my favorite ones. That's very creative. Those turkeys are not getting it for Thanksgiving. We also wrote these It's My Opinion essays. This is beautiful. It is my opinion that you should eat more pumpkin pie. First, it's easy to make, so it won't waste your time to get ready for your feast. Next, you need only pumpkin, flour, sugar, and milk. Only four ingredients. Last, it only takes 45 minutes. For these reasons, you should eat more pumpkin pie. That is the most well-written thing. I don't even like pumpkin pie, and I'm considering it. Way to go, child. 
We should eat chicken on Thanksgiving because it's smooth and soft on your teeth and it's fun to rip off the skin. It sounds a little bit morbid. And now I really don't ever want to eat chicken. We're eating more shrimp for Thanksgiving now. There's a lot of pie and crepes. I'm just impressed that they all remember to use the different pieces of opinion writing that we've been talking about. It's making my little teacher heart proud. Oh, there's a spelling comic. Oh, this one's pretty good too. Wow. I love going through our finished work basket. Okay, so like I said, we're learning about the first Thanksgiving. So today we made a list of all the things that we do at Thanksgiving. We talked about the first Thanksgiving. We made a list of all the things that they did. And then we highlighted the things that were the same. So we could see what was the same and different from the first Thanksgiving to our Thanksgiving. And as we're going over this, we're reviewing what we talked about yesterday. Reminding ourselves that the Native Americans who the pilgrims um, lived near had at their feast were called the Wampanoag people. And one of the little guys in my class raises his hand and he goes, the Wampanoag are in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And I was like, oh, are they really? I had no idea. And then I realized, I think he was thinking of the Oompa Loompas. <laughs> so, okay. The, the Wampanoag Native Americans are now the Oompa Loompas in Charlie and the Chocolate That's so, so not okay. Oh, that's a, okay. In other news, my students got me the Fiona book because I love hippos, and then today the same girls brought me in this book because they found it and felt like I should have it. A very Fiona Christmas. Look at that hippo. Oh, be still my heart. And I got chocolate. I, wow, feel so loved right now. I like how straightforward the instructions are. You just make it, cook it, and eat it. It's pretty good. Yes. So you're gonna get a chicken, and then skin the chicken's feathers, and then cut off the legs and the head, and then cook it, and then bam, turkey. The kids have all gone home, and I just put away all of the Thanksgiving things in my room. I haven't done the decorations yet. If I'm a good person, I'll grade all my opinion writing things for my kids right now, because that's the thing I don't want to do. And then I'll decorate, which is the thing I do want to do. But I really just want to decorate, you know? I switched out the books, I switched out the math games, the kids did the calendar for me while they were still here. I cleaned off the whiteboard, I've got everything set up for next week now. I literally only have to grade the opinion writing and do the Christmas decorations and then I'm on break. And I don't want to grade anything. But I'm going to be good and I'm going to grade the things. This is me being accountable. I'm grading all the papers. Here I go. In case you were curious what I was doing, I have all these little essays and I'm filling out this rubric for them. I'm just putting a check in the box that matches to them and then circling which number they mostly apply to. It doesn't take too long and for most of the kids I already pretty much know where they're going to be at, but I do have their final drafts and I have to look at this first draft to see how much I helped them before they got to the final draft because I'm, I guess I'm, yeah, I'm grading them on their ability to right without my assistance so that's what i'm working on while i watch videos all 26 essays are graded so i'm putting those in the to be sorted pile and it is time to decorate for christmas okay i know i'm making this sound like a huge thing but it's really not so let me show you what i'll be doing i'm gonna put the costume on the hippo in the hallway I have a garland and some lights to go in it. I remember now that last year I brought ornaments from home. I didn't do that yet. Maybe I'll find those. I have stockings to hang up for everybody. A wreath that I might put somewhere. And a Santa that I usually make a paper chain under so we can count down to Christmas. And then my window thing because I have a window thing for everything. So there's that. Let's get decorating. <music> Through a series of unfortunate circumstances, I did not get footage of me hanging the garland, which is probably actually better because that was a pain. Like I said, I realized just now that all the ornaments that I usually hang on there are at my house, so I guess we're not fully decorating that today. I am currently putting the names on the stockings. I think I'm also five short on stockings, 
but you know, Walmart's real close by. So all I have left to do is put the names on the stockings and hang them up front. And then I think I'm going to call it quits. I'll pick up the other five stockings and the ornaments to bring back and decorate on Monday. So let me hang those stockings. <music> All right, I've got my stockings hung. I'll grab the other five. I've got my garland, I'll bring the ornaments to finish that. We've got our Santa countdown chain and my very limited number of Christmas books out. It's time to go home and have Thanksgiving break and I'm super pumped about it. I'm not thinking I'm gonna change out of my pajamas to drive my friend to the airport tonight because pajama day should last all day. Anyway, Hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for sticking with me. And I will talk to you next time. See ya. I literally just thought to myself, oh, it's not too late. Maybe I'll run to Walmart right now. It's pajama day. I'm in my pajamas. I can't go to Walmart like this. Guess we're going this weekend.